This video is going to be more about sleep and how to get good sleep um, and reviewing this crazy tool back here that I have, the acupressure mat. Um, sleep, however, is a huge component of fitness. It's very easy to forget that, um, but if you're not getting good sleep, then your body can't recover properly. And the less sleep you get, the more it messes with your hormones and the things that control your hunger. Um, and so oftentimes if you're not sleeping enough, you actually will be hungrier and you will crave things like carbohydrates, sweets, candies, the things that lead to weight gain and lead to poor health instead of weight loss and feeling really great. Um, and then you wake up in the morning and you end up just drinking tons of caffeine, which is also not great for your health. So this video, I want to share a little bit about this acupressure mat and just a general sleep routine that I like to use to help me get better sleep and more of it. So to start with, a little bit before bed, I will often either do some stretching, maybe a light yoga routine, kind of some sun salutations, or foam rolling, or all of the above. So a lot of times, um, at the end of the day, especially if I had a hard workout, I'll feel really tight in a lot of places, like my back, my neck, my legs, so maybe you feel that too, and you can feel tension in your legs, in your back, in your neck, and to go to sleep that way just doesn't feel great, and then you wake up even worse off. So I like to start kind of the slow down, chill evening routine by foam rolling, and that just helps to kind of loosen up the muscles, break up those tight knots, adhesions that form in the muscles, and just kind of help you to relax. It gets the blood flowing through your body, um, and just kind of helps calm you down for the evening. It's just kind of a slow, steady routine that will just help you feel in general more relaxed and ready to go to bed. And then often it's great to follow foam rolling by stretching. I shared a lot more about this in a previous video about foam rolling, um, so you might want to take some time to stretch. Um, so for me it's just using something simple like this high density roller. And all I might do is spend a little bit of time Say rolling out the outside of my thigh, like so. Uh, maybe getting my calves, because if you spend a lot of time walking around in heels, or um, you did a run, or you did a leg day, the calves can get really tight. And then also just rolling out my back, maybe doing a little bit of a crack and working out those lats to get kind of sore and tight from back workouts and sitting at a desk all day. So just stretching out this way. I won't go too much into the foam rolling routine again because I did that in a previous video, so I'll link that down below so you can check it out. But that's a good way to kind of start to just slow down your mind um, and focus more on just kind of taking care of your body before bed and get you in a little bit more, more relaxed state of mind. Then. Right before bed, I like to use an acupressure mat. So this one is from ProSource, and it's basically just this bed of nails, basically. It's got these tiny little circles everywhere, tiny little um, pressure points, needles basically, plastic needles on them. Um, and this one, what I really like about this is it comes with a neck pillow. A lot of these made by other companies do not include a neck pillow, which feels awesome on the neck, um, kind of top of the shoulders, the traps area. And it's one of those things that's kind of hard to explain how it works. It can be attributed to like meridian lines, but even that is hard to explain what exactly works about meridian lines. Um, however, I've read a lot of people's reviews and experiences with these mats and partially again I think it's the blood flow that this creates. Um, so not only will it help you to actually recover better along with foam rolling and the mat and then sleep that'll help for your muscles to recover faster because of all the increased blood flow. But this actually totally puts me to sleep. Um, there's something about it that is very relaxing and I know it doesn't seem very relaxing to lay down on really sharp needles all along your back. Um, but once you kind of lay down and get used to the initial intense feeling, it actually is very relaxing and feels very good. I don't know what it is about it, but um, the idea behind it is basically acupressure, acu acupuncture. Um, so same idea, it's not like having it all stuck in your body feels great, but there's something very healing about it and it works somehow. So this is one of my favorite pre-bed things to do. 
is just lay on here for maybe 10, 15 minutes. These mats, you can work up to like 45 minutes a day if you wanna do that. I don't ever have time for that, so I might just do 10 or 15 minutes, just until it kinda lulls me to that place where I'm almost asleep, and then I'll just get up and head to bed real quick. So I like to lay down on this mat, um, and I do it without any clothing on. You can do it with like a light shirt or towel or something, or like a sheet, not a towel, a towel's too thick. Um, but something really thin if you're too sensitive, and it might take a few times to get used to it. But once you get used to it, I think it's a lot better without any clothing in the way. And you can use this on your stomach, on your legs, really anywhere you want to. But just laying down on your back is very relaxing. Um, so the neck pillow just goes right here under your head and then you just lay down on the mat. So I'll lay there for like 10-15 minutes, turn off all the lights, um, and maybe put on just some really quiet, chill music. Um, and just kind of focus on breathing, just deep breaths in and out. I might use this for my own just personal prayer time as well. Um, but it's good to just kind of lay there and try and start to like sort through your thoughts from the day, put them aside, and just focus on something like breathing to get your, your uh, heart rate to slow down and start to get ready in that, ready for that bedtime mindset, sleep mindset. Um, but this is just very relaxing and will help put you to sleep. Another thing that I like to do is to use lavender essential oil. So you can get a diffuser like this. So you basically, you just fill it up with water. It's, there's some in there, so I'm not gonna tip it all the way, but you just fill it up a little bit with water, put on the top, and then when you plug it in, you just press this button, and then the, the uh, oh, I forgot to mention, after you put in the water, you want to actually put in a drop of essential oil, or a couple of drops. So this one, can't tell if it's focused, but this is Aromatherapy Singles Lavender. So I just picked this up at Whole Foods. Um, so just look, make sure you look for something that's 100% essential oil. Um, there's a variety of kinds out there, and I can link a few below that you can try. But all you do is just, this one actually comes in a dropper. Some, uh, you just, it's a small little hole at the top that it comes out. So you just drop maybe like three or four drops of lavender essential oil in here. Um, and then put it on here, press the button, and it will diffuse that, that um, smell into the air. And lavender is known to be um, great for helping to relax and put to sleep. So if you, there, you can get lavender essential oil, you can also get different blends that are like a relax blend or something like that. So it's known to be a completely natural um, way to help you fall asleep easier. So, and it smells amazing. So I like to diffuse that in the air while I'm lying on the mat, or you can take it and you always wanna um, mix essential oil with some sort of carrier, like coconut oil. You might put some coconut oil in your hand and drop a few drops and then just rub it together and um, maybe rub it on your arms, on your hands, a little bit on your, on your chest. Um, just get it where you can smell it. Um, so that's another way to do it if you don't have a diffuser. You can just kind of mix it with lotion or oil or something like that. So I also have, I just recently got this one. Um, so again, relaxing lavender. So this is a body oil. So this is basically a non-homemade version of putting lavender oil in coconut oil. And this is a few different types of lavender in here. So it's a slightly different smell, um, but same idea. Um, so this, you just, you know, kind of rub on your hands or wherever. Um, and there's things like pillow mists and things like that as well, but lavender is really good for going to sleep. So if you, the combination of mixing lavender as well as the acupressure mat um, is a great way to fall asleep, especially if you turn the lights off, put your phone in a different room, don't let any blue light be on, um, and just have some chill music and lie there. It's an amazing tool to use. So I highly recommend trying this out. Again, just maybe give it a go, like five minutes at a time. Start with a light sheet on there, some light clothing if you need to, to get used to the feeling. It is pretty freaky when you first lay on it. It's a very strange feeling and it doesn't feel great, but give it like a, a minute, two minutes to lie there, and then eventually your body gets used to it and it starts to feel really relaxing. Um, and then you can work your way up to 20, 30, 40 minutes if you want to, to reap more benefits. Um, but I just like to use it before bed. You can also use it in the morning. I kind of like that sometimes when you're like really struggling to wake up and just don't feel ready to move yet. Sometimes it's nice to lie on this to kind of wake you up a little bit. 
and almost, at least for me, sometimes my back can get really sore. So just lying on that helps to stimulate that blood flow again so that I'm not so achy when I wake up. And that's why it's also great to have that neck pillow on the neck for that same reason, because that's gets so tight during sleeping and sitting at a desk and all those kind of things. So um, I definitely recommend trying this um, and see how it goes, because it will hopefully Im improve your sleep. And again, sleep is so critical for building muscle, recovering from your workouts, and just keeping your body systems working properly and feeling your best and being full of energy without having to pump in caffeine and sugar and things like that. So um, always make sleep a priority to live a fit, healthy, fulfilled, happy life. So hopefully this is one little completely natural tool that you can use so that you don't have to turn to syrups from the store and different drugs and things to knock you out before bed because it's not good for you. So stick with the most natural methods you can find first before you have to resort to anything um, with chemicals and things that aren't really intended to go in your body. So I hope that's helpful.